Color Doppler Echo Outline Principles of Color Doppler Technique of Color Doppler The Echo Windows Transthoracic Echo Standard Echo Windows Principles of Color Doppler Color Doppler Echocardiography is an automated version of the pulsed wave Doppler. It is also known as real-time Doppler imaging. Color Doppler provides a visual display of blood flow within the heart in the form of a color flow map. After a burst of ultrasound is reflected back along a single scan line, it is analyzed by the autocorrelator of the echo machine. The autocorrelator compares the frequency of the returning signal with the original frequency. It automatically assigns a color code to the frequency difference. Analysis of several sample volumes down each scan line and of several such scan lines using multi-gate Doppler creates a color-encoded map of the area being interrogated. The color flow map encodes information about direction as well as velocity of blood flow. When this map is superimposed on the image sector of interest, appropriate interpretation is made. The color assigned to blood flow towards the transducer are shades of red-white colors assigned to flow away from the transducer are hues of blue. Technique of Color Doppler For color Doppler, the transducer is placed in the usual parasternal or apical window as done for standard echo imaging. Once an anatomical image is obtained, the color is turned on. Color flow maps are automatically displayed and superimposed on the standard echo image. When the color map has been visualized, the transducer is slightly angulated. This is done to optimize the visual display. The final image is often a trade-off between an optimal anatomical image and a good color flow map. The velocity filter and color gain settings must be optimal. Advantages the major advantage of color Doppler echo is the rapidity with which normal and abnormal flow patterns can be visualized. The spatial orientation of color flow mapping is easier to comprehend. It improves the accuracy of sampling with PW and CW Doppler by helping to align the Doppler beam with the color jet. Limitations Color Doppler may spuriously pick up artifacts from heart muscle and valve tissue which falsely get assigned a color. Color Doppler may inadvertently miss low velocities if the flow signal is weak. Color Doppler may be limited by non-availability of a satisfactory echo window or by malalignment of the ultrasound beam with blood flow direction. Application of Color Doppler Color Doppler can identify, localize, and quantitate stenotic lesions of the cardiac valves. It visually displays the stenotic area and the resultant jet as distinct from normal flow. Color Doppler can diagnose and estimate the severity of regurgitant lesions of the valves and displays the regurgitant jet as a flow map distinct from the normal flow pattern. Transthoracic Echo Conventional echocardiography is performed from the anterior chest wall, precordium, and is known as transthoracic echo. For transthoracic echo, the subject is asked to lie in the semi recumbent position on his or her left side with the head slightly elevated. The left arm is tugged under the head and the right arm lies along the right side of the body. This position opens the intercostal spaces through which echo can be performed. Better images are obtained during expiration when there is least air tissue interface. Standard Echo Windows 
Standard locations on the anterior chest wall are used to place the transducer. These are left parasternal, apical, subcostal, right parasternal, suprasternal. Transthoracic echo may be technically difficult to perform in the following situations severe morbid obesity, chest wall deformity, pulmonary emphysema. Parasternal long axis view, plaques view. Transducer position, left sternal edge, second to fourth space. Marker dot direction, points towards right shoulder. Most echo studies begin with this view. It sets the stage for subsequent echo views. Structures seen. Proximal aorta. Aortic valve. Left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, IV septum, posterior wall, right ventricle, pericardium, parasternal short axis views, PSAX views, transducer position, left sternal edge, second to fourth space, marker dot direction, points towards left shoulder, 90 degree clockwise from PLAX. Short axis levels. Pulmonary artery level. Aortic valve level. Mitral valve level. Papillary muscle. Left ventricle. Pulmonary artery PA level. Structures seen. Pulmonary artery. Pulmonary valve. RV. Outflow tract, aortic valve, AV level, structures seen, aortic valve cusps, left atrium, interatrial septum, tricuspid valve, RV outflow tract, mitral valve, MV level, structures seen, mitral valve orifice, ventricular septum, Papillary muscle, PM level, structures seen, enterolateral PM 30, posteromedial PM 70, anterior wall 120 to 30, lateral wall 30 to 60, inferior wall 60 to 90, IV septum 90 to 120, apical four chamber view. A4CH view, transducer position, apex of the heart, marker dot direction, points towards left shoulder, structures seen, right and left ventricle, right and left atrium, mitral and tricuspid valve, IA and IV septum, left ventricular apex, lateral wall left ventricle, Free wall right ventricle. Epical 5 chamber view, A5CH view. Structures seen, as in A4CH view, additionally, LV outflow tract, aortic valve, proximal aorta. Right parasternal view. For right parasternal view, the subject lies in the semi recubement position on the right side. The right arm is tugged under the head and the left arm lies along the left side of the body. Transducer position, right sternal edge, second to fourth space. Marker dot direction, points towards left shoulder. Structures seen, aortic valve, aortic root.